Hello, my name is Kamond, and in today's video, I'll show you how to build a super simple iron farm. And here you can see the design, and as you can see, it's fairly simple. This area is where the iron column will spawn, and once it spawns, this water will push it down in the lava, and it will die. And all the iron will go down inside this chest. And in here are the villagers holding cells, and yeah, villagers see the zombie, zombies see the villagers, and iron columns will spawn. And here is the loot from 15 minutes of AFK. Sometimes you get more, sometimes you get less, but it's somewhere around 500 iron ingots per hour. And here are all of the items you need for the build. Three stacks of building blocks. You can use any building block you want to. I will use smooth stone in this tutorial. One stair, four signs, 32 fences, four fence gates, and one cauldron. 17 glass blocks, one hopper, and two chests. Three beds, six strings, and six carpets. We'll also need a bucket of lava and three buckets of water. These last two so we can make an infinite water source. I will show you how to do this later. Then of course three villagers, a zombie, a name tag, and a anvil so you can rename the name tag. And before we start, please consider subscribing and also hit the like button. Let's continue. So let's start by placing down four blocks in here. Let's go around like so. And the walls will be these blocks. You can also place some blocks in the corners if you'd like to. But I like to save blocks in these tutorials. Alright. Then you take out a hopper and a chest. Place the chest in here. And then the hopper in here. Crouch and right click the chest so the hopper will connect. Alright, then a block here, then we'll take out the one stair and place it in here. Upside down, we can place it also like this. And if you do not place the stair in here, you cannot open the chest. Let me demonstrate. You can't open the chest, and that's the reason why we place a stair in here. Awesome. And now, let's make the infinite water source. Break out four blocks in the ground, and place your bucket of water in here and in here. And from here, from any spot, you can refill your pockets. Alright. Then let's go in here. And go a few more blocks up. Let's go one more round. And then let's take out our signs. Place your signs in here. In here, 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 and in here. Down here goes a bucket of water. And up here goes a bucket of lava. Up in here. Now this will kill the iron golems. Now we have to go 14 blocks up, pounding from this block. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. Now build the walls all the way up. And like that. Now once you're up here, go 3 blocks out from this block. So 1, 2, 3. Same thing on this side, 1, 2, 3, and back in here we'll go 2 blocks out. So 1, 2, 1, and 2. Now connect everything together. And now let's take out our fence gates, our fences, and our water pockets. Alright, so... Let's place two blocks here for now and crowds and place the fences in here. Now you can break the blocks and open the fence gates. And all the way around we will place some fences in here. So the iron column doesn't fall down. And also so the water doesn't fall down. Go around with some fences. Awesome. And then in the corners let's place some water. On every single corner. Now as you can see, water will flow the iron column down inside his shoes. And now, go to the side where you have the chest. Place a block in here and one block above and break the one below. Two blocks on the side, then let's place two more rows of blocks in here and then some beds on top. Break the blocks below the beds and then around in here, take some more glass like these, also on the back side. 
awesome. Now in here, we will place the water on this corner and on this corner. And now this water makes the villagers jump down basically like this. Now take out your string, crouch and place it above the beds. Then place the carpet above the string like that. And now you have to get the villagers inside. Now getting the villagers up here is the trickiest part. But you can do that by making a staircase down, using some rails, or then using a bell and a bed trick. Okay, let me demonstrate. You need a bed, villager, and a bell. So the villager is in here, and you want it to go in here, right? So you place the bell down and ring it, and it will go towards the bed. Amazing. So yeah, that's an easy way to get them up there as well. But yeah, once you have found a way to get the villagers up here, place them on top of the water. The three villagers going here. No workbenches or anything needed. And once you have gotten the villagers inside here, place three blocks of glass above them. Alright, now we need to get the zombie up here as well. So go in here in the middle and place eight blocks like this. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. You can break these blocks. And now we will place a cauldron up in here. Above this cauldron, let's place a block, and some glass on top. We will place the glass up here, so the iron columns cannot spawn up here and basically kill the zombie. Now in survival, getting the zombie up here is as painful as getting the villagers up here. So yeah, the easiest way to do it is to get a railway and push the zombie up here at night. It's also easier to just make a stairway or staircase all the way down and basically lure the zombie up there while it's trying to kill you. So yeah, do that and you just get the zombie up here quite easily. Once you have done that, name tag the zombie so it won't despawn. It's up to Kmod by the way. It might take a full Minecraft day before the iron columns start spawning, but once they do, they will spawn non-stop. And there, the first iron golem. Awesome. So yeah, that's basically the whole farm. Super simple, easy to build. Hardest part is to get the zombie and the villagers up here. But once you have done that, you will get unlimited iron. But if you need a more efficient iron farm, check the link in the description. Anyways, thank you for watching. And if you found this tutorial useful, please hit the like button. And why not consider subscribing? That won't really mean a lot. Anyways. I'll see you in the next one. My name is Cayman. Mm. Bye bye. Uh, how, how do you say iron? Iron. 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 Where does the R go? Iron. 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 Please. Iron. This doesn't make any sense. Iron.